It is traditionally considered transistor to be an exceptional achievement of the scientists of Bell Labs, Shockley, Bardeen and Bratton. But in fact many scientists, both in Europe and the USA, were working to create a semiconductor amplifying device at the same time. Among them the most successful were German physicists Herbert Motterer and Henrik Welker, who worked in Paris during the Second World War on semiconductors application in radiolocating equipment. Herbert Motterer improved crystal rectifiers made of silicon and germanium in the laboratories of Telefunken in Berlin and Silesia, while Henrik Welker worked on germanium cleaning technology in Munich. After the war, they were hired by Compagnie de France and Sinou, a subsidiary of Westinghouse, to develop and manufacture solid state rectifiers made of these materials. In 1947, Matra began to study the strange phenomenon called interference, which he saw while working on rectifier during the war. If two points of leads in deals were located close enough, about 100 microns from each other, the potential at one of them could affect the current flowing through the other, similar to what Bardeen and Bratton noticed in the germanium crystal. Early in the next year, Herbert Motter achieved successful amplification of electrical signals. In June 1948, he received safe working devices using Welker samples of high purity germanium. But a month later, they learned that Bell Labs had just invented a similar semiconductor amplifier. The company patented the device of Matra and Welker named Transistron in order to distinguish it from the transistor and organize its production. By mid 1949, thousands of these devices had been used as amplifiers in the French system of telephone. But the unstable contact point device was soon replaced by the transistor. Matra returned to Germany and in 1952 became one of the founders of the Intermetal Company, producing deals and transistors. Welke began to work for Siemens and eventually became its scientific advisor. Their work has the first successful European ste step in creating transistors.